guys, today's video here I have on the LG G Watch and we're going to show you how to install a custom ROM or actually at this point the only custom ROM that's out that I know of and it's called uh, basically Goema. I don't even know how to say that correctly. We're going to call it that ROM um, and it's very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. I'll talk about it as we go through it and uh, we'll go through some of these steps. So right now this, this ROM is on what's called Preview 12 is the latest at the time of this video and let's go ahead really quickly and just show you some information on your device. You're going to need to have some prerequisites to install this. So we're going to go into settings um, and we're going to go to about right here. Very good and right now this is my current build number which is M or I should say KMV 78Y and it's very important because that is what this ROM is based on and you need to be on that before you flash the ROM or at least that's what Preview 12 is based on which is what we're going to go ahead and flash today. You're also going to have to have an unlocked bootloader um, along with uh, ADB debugging turned on which is right there enabled. If you don't have the developer information up like I have this developer options uh, you can enable them but if you went ahead and unlocked the bootloader, you probably already have them enabled because you need that to uh, unlock your bootloader. So, very simple um, kind of prerequisites to do this. Uh, basically, this is a tool you use from a Windows computer, and it's very, very simple to do. So, to, to, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of get into flashing this cool ROM to our device. So, let's shoot over to my computer. All right, guys, here we are on the computer, and... Um, this is the thread on XDA where you can find this ROM right here, Geoha, Geoma, I don't know, I don't know how to say this, ROM Preview 12, uh, you can see a little thread here, and it talks about this, this, uh, uh, this ROM here, and also how to install, there's some directions right here, but I'm just going to kind of skip through this and do it for you, and show you how to do it, walk you through the process. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to download right here this file, which is the Goma G Watch Preview 12 zip and just double click on it and extract it. I'm going to go ahead and extract and I'm going to tell it to extract to the ROM name. Like I said, I butchered terribly, so I'm not even going to pronounce it again. And go ahead and extract it. There we go. And where is that at file? Right, right there. So this is Preview 12 here. I had some other versions on there. I have not flashed them yet, so this will be the first time I do this. Um, this is kind of interesting, actually. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of. This is kind of a neat way of installing a ROM because you're not really installing a ROM. It's it's different. Let me explain it to you. So basically, you have two batch files. One is Windows Installer Bat, and one is Windows Return to Stock Bat. So basically, if you click the Windows Installer, it installs the ROM. If you don't like the ROM for some reason and you want to go back to stock, you click the run stock and you're back to stock. So that's very cool. I like that you have both options in there. There are some Linux and uh, Mac OS uh, scripts that you can run also if you have those versions. So it is works with any of those uh, computers. But I'm going to do it in Windows because that's what I'm running here. So here are your two things. So this is the ROM. So let me just talk about what this actually flashes. Um, it's not a full ROM. It's more of a mod because if you click into it, you can see what it's actually going to flash to your device. So if we go into apps, you're going to have a couple APKs it's going to flash to your device. You go to bins, there's some stuff, a little debugger thing. Some initd stuff, security things, a couple other config stuff in here that it's going to change. Your framework. Oh, now see, this is very much updated from the last version I've messed with. So this is kind of neat. This is actually looks like he's doing a lot, lot more on modifying this. This almost looks like a full ROM here. His previous builds were um, very much just more of a, a mod than a full ROM. This actually is very, very, very nice. It looks like almost like a full, a full ROM here. So pretty cool. So you click on system, you can see everything that's in there. If you were to look at uh, here stock here system, and you can see in here. He's just flashing a couple things to restore it to stock. It's not very much. A build prop and some libs. Um, so that's the restore stock and this is the ROM one. If you, let me show you another one really quick. Here's an older version. If you go to ROM, look what he's flashing here. Originally you were just flashing this stuff. 
some X-Bin stuff, and a build prop. That's it. So with this new version of the ROM, which is Preview 12, you're actually getting almost a full ROM here, it looks like, which is, uh, which is really pretty cool. Um, I'm excited, actually, now to see what this looks like, because before it was just a modification. Alright, so to do this, to make sure everything's working, you have to have your ADB debugging, unlock bootloader, all those kind of good things. Basically what this script does is it uses root permission to flash this ROM to your device. So we're going to go ahead and just click the Windows Installer Bat. And here you go, by Jake Day. A little bit about it. Before you continue, ensure ADB debugging is on, that you have the latest drivers installed, um, that your watch is connected US, uh, via USB, press any key to continue. If you don't have your drivers, well, see that's the thing, I, I would go over to driver install, but it's really not necessary because of the fact that you have to have an unlocked bootloader. If you unlock your bootloader, you have the right drivers. So I'm not even really going to worry about that because that is a prerequisite to do this. So press any key to continue, so we're just going to do that. And you can see the device here is should be rebooting, yep, into fast boot mode. And then it says waiting for device found installing root. Uh, go ahead and press any key to continue. And now, you if you already have root and an install root, again, it's really not a big deal. This is just the process that this script uses to get access to actually push all these files over. It uses root to be able to push the files to your device. So basically you saw a quick boot there, then it boots again, it should go, um, I think it's going to do a full boot here, it might boot to bootloader, I'm not really sure, let's see what it's going to do here. Alright, and now it says pushing ROM files, pushing files to watch, so let's see what, uh, what it says here. Next, I think it's going to do a full boot, and while it's booting it's going to push those files over to the watch. So there we go. Booting up, Android Wear, standard, uh, there we go. There's my watch face right now I'm running, pretty cool. Uh, it says it's still pushing ROM files to watch, so you're just going to wait for the script here to finish. Um, pretty nice. Let's see, it's going to take a little bit. It looks like, like I said, this ROM was quite a bit bigger than his previous builds, so it might take a little bit longer. We'll just wait here. Alright, cleaning up, install complete, press any key to exit, so we'll go ahead and press any key. The script is done and our watch is booting now with Preview 12 on it, which is based on that newest OTA, uh, what would that be, KMV78Y, and here we go, we're booting up with that right now. So I'm pretty excited to see how this actually runs, if it feels smoother, slicker, or how it all works with this uh, little modification on it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and just kind of play through this a little bit. So right now I'm just connected. Wait for the uh, watch to reconnect and we'll check it out. You're done on the computer, you guys can go ahead and close that stuff out and we'll just kind of look through this ROM and see if there's anything really too different about it uh, and see what we got here. So we're gonna go down, I'm just curious about settings if the build prop really changed, we can go to about and see if there is anything different in here. Yeah, so right here you can see it. There is the build number is the name of the ROM there, the GOMA version or 1.0 and then preview 12. Um, connection says disconnected still, which is interesting. Um, hmm, and very interesting. So it is on here now. Let's see what else we got. Okay, I think, okay, finally I think we're connected. Yep, there we go. So, very cool. Transition's nice right there. That's pretty pretty smooth. A little bit of email stuff there. I'll swipe that away. If you guys haven't seen this launcher, this thing's pretty slick. I'm going to see if you add anything in my apps. Nope, that looks all pretty standard. We'll look back in here again. We'll go into start. Just trying to see if there's anything new besides just making this thing run faster. These are all apps that I already had previously. You get them all from uh, Google Play Store, Android Wear applications. Let's see what else is in here. It's just just trying to look around. Take a note, reminders, steps, emails, agendas, navigation, settings. Yeah, this pretty much looks exactly exactly like stock. I don't see anything really modified too much. 
from what I understand about this ROM is it's pretty much strictly there to make the device run smoother and just give it some nice tweaks to clean up uh, the operation of it and just give it a nicer cleaner interface better transitions things like that better battery life that kind of stuff so there you go guys that is it I will try to maybe give you guys an update if you follow me on Twitter Facebook anywhere like that and give you an update if I feel like this is really a good improvement of flashing this ROM because I'm not seeing anything really different with it right now I'm just really curious to see how it functions after a day or so if it's got great battery or something like that if there's any real change that I'm noticing with this new Gomo ROM on the device so there you go sorry it was a little long video trying to explain everything get everything in there for you guys hope you guys like it stay tuned for more on this device I did just order the uh, Samsung Gear Live Watch as well so hopefully have some coverage on that coming soon Stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.